What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of The Very Last Drop. And for today's episode, it's gonna be very different. It's gonna be an at the brewery episode. So it's not gonna be a review of the beers per se, but it's gonna be a review of the brewery where I'm gonna travel, I'm gonna check out the vibe, we're gonna check out the food around there, and we're gonna give you an overall idea of the vibe that's going on at these breweries. For the first episode, I'm gonna be going to downtown Miami and I'm gonna be visiting Wynwood Brewing. So the Wynwood Brewing Company is gonna be in the art district of downtown Miami. So it should be full of nice things to look at, a lot of graffiti artists putting art all over the place. So it should be pretty cool. All right, so first let's check out some footage of what we saw on the way to Wynwood Brewing and let's see what downtown kind of looks like. place it's a great place if you're a graffiti artist and you want to go and do some art there's plenty of places to find a spot and do some art uh, it seems really cool really laid back once we arrived at the brewery it was no different there was graffiti art on the walls there was graffiti artists outside working on a mural and they had a food truck outside so getting in there the music was nice it was pretty laid back uh, first thing we noticed is that they allow dogs in there, which is pretty cool. As I was eating outside, there were dogs coming in and out. Some very cool looking dogs of different sizes. And overall, it was really comforting, you know, being a dog owner and knowing that I could go to a place like this and bring my dog is really cool. You know, there's not too many places you can bring your dog and enjoy an afternoon. And this was during the week, so I wasn't expecting too many people. But overall, it was a pretty big crowd. The tap list at the brewery was pretty good. They had a lot of different styles of beer. I mostly had the stouts that they had there, but I also tried one of their sours, which everybody was talking really well about, so I had to try it. And Overall, if you like beer, then you're probably going to find a type that you like at this brewery. So we just came back from Winwood Brewing and I got myself a Count Mashula, which is 12% and I don't I didn't really know too much about it but it's really good. It has a lot of flavor, a lot of chocolate, a lot of peanut butter. I probably gonna look up some more info so I can tell you more about it when I get back. But as far as I can tell, it's really delicious. We had some big papa on draft, we had some of this, we had some of the green hornet. Uh, gauntlet edition, which is pretty good. It reminded me a lot of the Bourbon County drinks. Very smoky. And as far as I could tell, draft beers right here in downtown, really good. You gotta try it out. Wynwood Brewing. Check it out, downtown Miami. Here it is. 
So overall, the vibe was very friendly. The drinks were really good. Uh, the food at the food truck was amazing. If you didn't want food at the food truck, there's many other places around the neighborhood that you could go and have something to eat. They had bars, everything you could think of. Really good spot. The interior of Wynwood was really well done. You could tell it has a very young vibe that they're trying to connect with or older people that grew up with Marvel and Star Wars. So you got a wide range of people that can enjoy the place. You know, they have your old Star Wars, new Star Wars, and Marvel's been around since forever. So you could attract people that are from the older crowd, from, you know, 30s and 40s that grew up with Marvel and Star Wars, and the younger crowd now that also grew up with Marvel and Star Wars. So overall, it's really good vibe. They have all sorts of memorabilia on the walls, a lot of art on the wall, uh, custom graffiti on the wall with Star Wars and Marvel themes. And they did a really good job, you know, just making the whole place feel very homey, very laid back, and a place to where you could just go and relax. Uh, on the way out, I even noticed one of the tables had the frozen Han Solo inside of the table, which I, I didn't get any footage of. If I, if I did, then I'll put the footage in, but I don't think I got any footage. It was really cool. And other than that, it was, it was fun. It was a really good place. Uh, I'd say I haven't, I've been to a few other breweries and I don't have too many to compare with, but I'd say that with the vibe and everything going on there, it's really hot, it's really good. Not as crowded as I thought it would be, but it's probably because it was a weekday. And overall, I give that place uh, an eight, an eight out of 10. You know, the only place where they could probably improve is in the seating. There wasn't too many seats inside. You know, it was really hot outside. So there was, I mostly stayed outside to eat and to check out the graffiti artist working on that mural. But when you go inside, it quickly became really crowded. There was not really a place to sit down if you weren't there from early, early on. Uh, people were standing around a lot. So that's the only place I felt like they could have improved is in the seating inside, especially during the daytime since it's really hot. But I can also understand why it's difficult since they just had the, the walls repainted and they didn't want any tables or chairs near the walls where people would rub off or rub up on it and probably mess up the art. I highly recommend it if you're ever in downtown Miami and you want to check out some a nice place to have some beers. That's definitely a good spot to go to. And thanks again for tuning in guys. You know if you like what I'm doing for the channel, let me know. Hit the like, subscribe, let me know where I can improve on. You know I'm here to bring out the experience of beer and having beer at different places to everybody and I hope you enjoy the show. Thanks a lot.